so from the splendor of the cathedral out into the sunshine and to the crowds waiting to welcome the Prince and Princess of Wales. door of St Paul's Cathedral. The families were there to see them off. Escorted by the household cavalry, the carriage came down Fleet Street and along the Strand. And at one stage, to the princess's delight, down came a shower of rice, who by now were filling the area around the memorial, pouring down the mall, pressing right up against the railings of Buckingham Palace, waiting for that supreme moment, the appearance on the balcony of Buckingham Palace. Red, white and blue were the colours of the day for the crowd at least, it must have been like looking down on a sea of flags for the prince and princess. For minutes, the cheers went on. Then, after the wedding breakfast and after the photographs had been taken, it was time to leave for the honeymoon. Time, too, for one more carriage procession, but this time a procession with a difference. Ninth, 1981, had become husband and wife. of Buckingham Palace. Red, white and blue were the colours of the day for the crowd at least. It must have been like looking down on a sea of flags for the prince and princess. For minutes the cheers went on. Escorted by the household cavalry, the carriage came down Fleet Street and along the Strand. And at one stage, to the princess's delight, down came a shower of rice, who by now were filling the area around the memorial, pouring down the mall, pressing right up against the railings of Buckingham Palace, waiting for that supreme moment, the appearance of the ball. From the west door of St Paul's Cathedral, the families were there to see them off. So, from the splendour of the cathedral, 
out into the sunshine and to the crowds waiting to welcome the Prince and Princess of Wales.